Breaking news, this just in, our Andrew Brandt is reporting that the court has decided to rule in favor of the NFL, resulting in Tom Brady being suspended for the first four games of the season. Again, this just came down, so haven't had much time to digest it. But Skip, what's your reaction? It's outrageous. It just makes me sick because I said from the start, you can't fight City Hall. And Tom Brady fought City Hall as in the National Football League, and he fought it and beat it in its own backyard in the first round in Manhattan court. And then it goes to appellate court, and I'm just going to guess, I don't have any knowledge of this, but it's the way this country works. I guess it's the way every country ultimately works. Strings got pulled, and Tom Brady, quote unquote, got his. I said from the start, the Wells report was full of inaccuracies and inconsistencies and overstatements, all geared toward railroading Tom Brady into being the scapegoat, the fall guy, for all historically that the Patriots have done wrong in cheating all the way back to Spygate. Everyone in the NFL, around the NFL, believed that somehow the Patriots were cheating with the footballs, deflating the footballs. I don't believe Tom Brady had any knowledge of deflating footballs. Maybe somebody else in the organization did, but I don't think it was Tom Brady. So as he approached age 38, 39, I think somebody on high said, who cares about his legacy? Let's go ahead and destroy Tom Brady's legacy for the sake of getting even with the Patriots for all they've done historically and gotten away with. In this case, as Peter King wrote, what was it, a couple of months back, you don't have enough evidence, NFL. You didn't prove it this year with any of your, your scientific methods. You didn't apply them this year to this year's uh, deflation or inflation of the footballs. Nothing was proven. Peter King went so far as to say, Give them their first round draft pick back. And I respect nobody in this league who covers this league more than I respect Peter King. Period. End of story. So I guess Judge Berman gets no respect. I guess he just got shamed with all of his opinions that he drew because he basically shamed the National Football League in round one here. Then if you can explain this to me, you're way ahead of me because I'm no legal eagle. But in the end, somehow strings got pulled at the appellate level and Tom Brady finally is going to get his four games. Way to go, NFL. You win again. You and people like you who think like you as it pertains to Tom Brady and Deflate Gate respectfully need to grow up. This is not about right and wrong. I've been telling you for months. It's not about right and wrong. And Tom Brady won the first battle and we're on first take and you're pumping your fist and he took on City Hall and blah, blah, blah. And I said, it's not over. Because here's the reality. It's not about the flake gate anymore. It hasn't been about the flake gate for the longest time, which I respectfully, because God knows I respect Peter King. All of that stuff he brought up is irrelevant. There's a CBA agreement that essentially says the NFL is the law of the land as it pertains to the NFL so long as it confines itself to whatever stipulated in the collective bargaining. Roger Goodell and the league office has the power to sit there and insert their belief system, their opinions, or whatever the case may be, so long as it is collectively bargained to do what they want to do. And if they came to the conclusion that Tom Brady, whether he knew about the deflated footballs or not, if they came to the conclusion that they reasonably surmised he must have known something, that he indeed was uncooperative, that he indeed destroyed the cell phone that he knew that they were going to come asking for and all of this other stuff, that he was sitting up there and talking to the dude, you know, I forgot whether it was the Jazz Stremsky, the equipment manager, or the other guy, and you're talking to them, and, and all of this stuff is going on, you're conversing with them six or seven times over, then it is what it is. I told you before, Skip, your Tom Brady 
you pick up that phone. Roger, let's go out to dinner. Let me treat you and a lovely wife to dinner. I'll have Giselle with me. Let's go out. Let's talk. Let's not engage in labor negotiations and beyond. Let's engage in relations. Let's have a conversation. I didn't know this. I had nothing to do with this. Is there some way we could have worked this out? And I'm pretty sure that Roger Goodell, considering it's Tom Brady that we're talking about here, Roger Goodell would have made some concession and maybe said, OK, two games, I need you to take this hit because this is how it looks. And I've got the integrity of the league to protect. I've got other folks breathing down my back. This is how it looks to us. And you could have worked it out. But no. Tom Brady, oh, I'm innocent. And Skip Bailey, oh, you got you to gotta fight to the bitter end and blah, 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 blah. Now what did it got you? You got last season, you played. But you're going to get your four games, right? This is what we were saying all along. Ultimately, this is the game. Put on your big boy pants. Yeah, big boy. Stop whining mm -hmm. and, and just recognize that, look, you are not the NFL, meaning Tom Brady. You are not the NFL. You play under the guise of the NFL, mm -hmm. as great as you are and as much as you've meant to this league, you are not the NFL. All of these particulars about whether he knew the deflate, the balls were deflated, and what he had to do with it, once they reached their conclusion and you took such a defiant public stance, they had no choice but to keep coming at you because if they did it, it would have opened up the floodgates for everybody else to follow. Who doesn't know that? Everybody knows that. But Tom Brady wanted to defy it. Skip Bayless wanted him to defy it. And look what happened. Exactly yeah, what, what they happened. said would happen. City Hall won. I I'm here to remind you, Tom Brady put on his big boy pants from day one. And I'm here to ask you, if you, Stephen A. Smith, had been so accused as Tom Brady was, and you thought you were 1,000% innocent as charged, that your reputation was being drugged through the, the mud nationally, what would you have done? Would you have said, you know Skip. what, I'll take Skip. a couple of games. If Skip. you take a couple this of games, very, you're branded is, as a cheater and I'm a liar. I'm answering your question. Yeah. I'm answering your question. This is a very serious subject. You've known me now for 20 years. Look at me in my face right now and tell me how serious I am when I say this. You trying to tell me I haven't taken hits for things that I felt were unfair? And I didn't just sit back and say, okay, I understand. I don't like it. I think I've been done wrong here, but I'm going to take it. You are telling me that the Stephen okay. A. Smith you know, yeah. as much as defiant as you know I am in fighting for what I believe is right, in the best interest of the bigger whole. You trying to tell me I didn't take hits? Okay, I don't want to get into the gory detail of, of incident by incident. I'm saying, but I'm saying that in each case, I'm not sure you thought you were 1,000% innocent. And you finally said, okay, if that's how you view it, you got me, I'll do this. I, I, I get that But it that wasn't part. about the 1,000. But it, it's not about the 1,000%. And first of all, none of us are 1,000% innocent, not even Tom Brady. Because even if you had nothing to do with deflating the footballs, you might have needed to handle the whole deflate gate investigation in a different fashion that you did. None of us are flawless. But in the end, there have been many occasions when I thought that I was right and I took unnecessary okay, right, hits, but, but, but it was for the better part level. of the team. You because were, that's what you do. But you were never accused of cheating of, let's say, on our level, plagiarizing. Nobody ever accused you of that. Well, you said, no, I didn't. I'm a thousand percent innocent. I didn't plagiarize. But wait a minute. They didn't definitively accuse him either because even in the Wells report, they acknowledged that the evidence was circumstantial and the holes that you and Peter King and everybody else have been able to poke into that, they didn't have to write those things in the investigation, but that's what they did. It didn't have to be revealed to Joe Public, but that's what it was. They're telling you what they believe. They're surmising and deducing based on the evidence and the things that transpired during the investigation where they're coming from, but they're also acknowledging that it's not necessarily concrete and resolute. But okay. what they're ultimately getting at him for is his lack of cooperation during the investigation and the part he may have played in it. And what they're saying is, is that, excuse me, you don't get to, scare, to skirt your way out of this. 
either. And he was defiant in going up against them to the point where it was no longer about the flake gate, but it was about the authority of the NFL. You don't get to usurp hey, but, but that. Stephen A., if you admit that you cheated a little bit or you knew a little bit or you participated a they little bit, they didn't ask him to do you're that. You're a cheater. Man, it's going oh, to stain oh, and taint your him reputation. To do that. They you didn't can't ask do him it. to do that. They didn't ask him to do that. They said this is the penalty. Tom Brady could have came back just like Robert Kraft did. When Robert Kraft said, this is nonsense, I'm paraphrasing, this is nonsense, we're being railroaded, I don't like it, but in the best interest of the league, I'm going to accept the million-dollar fine and the confiscation of the two picks. Robert, Robert Kraft never acknowledged any guilt, but he accepted the penalty yeah, because then he, he understands... Off. A week later, he backed off and said, they took me for a ride. I shouldn't have done it. I trusted them. I thought they were going to let Tom off easy, and they came with four games. Stay with me, Skip. I'm saying to you that Robert Kraft, when he, when he was willing to accept it, my only point is he at no time acknowledged guilt. He said, I'm going to soak this up in the best interest of the league. Tom Brady could have done the same thing. I am innocent. This is BS, but I don't want to be this distraction. And that would have been that. But he didn't want to do it. Guys, I, I hate to cut you yeah. off, but we, we have to go to break here. We'll yeah, look at the first four games, and we'll continue this, yeah. this conversation. Sad day. Sad day for the NFL. It ain't sad. More first it take after the himself. break. Yeah. We'll revisit the Patriots and this Tom Brady suspension next. First take is brought to you by PapaJohns.com. Two medium, two topping pizzas, only $6.99 each. And Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. In case you're just joining us, our Andrew Brand is reporting that the court has decided to rule in favor of the NFL, resulting in Tom Brady being suspended for the first four games of the season. Tom Brady and Jimmy Garoppolo, the only quarterbacks on that team. Here's their schedule, the first four games at Arizona, home to Miami, Houston, in Buffalo. Skip. What will their, uh, their record look like through the first four? I can't see Jimmy Garoppolo winning at Arizona in the opener, but wouldn't it be justice if Jimmy Garoppolo came home and they could win the next three home games against Miami and Houston and Buffalo? So I, I'm going to go three and one. Can you hear us, Stephen A.? Yes, I can okay, hear you good. now. I couldn't right. hear you, but I just heard the three and one. It doesn't matter because whatever their record is, once Tom Brady comes back, They'll win the AFC East, but I hope this is a lesson to you, Skip. A lesson? The federal courts, oh, you're going to start it? We got, we got 20 seconds left? Okay, the federal go ahead. courts don't want to players to get something in court that they couldn't get through the collective bargaining agreement. That's all that happened here. Yeah, That's well, all that so happened. let's throw out everything from Judge Berman. Do you think he's a fool then? He has no idea That's what he's doing. That's why court. Should, should he Judges be, get be overruled all the time. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, that, this is just That sad. doesn't happen? Strings why, got pulled. Why does the Supreme pulled. Court That's what exist? Don't they overrule all the You courts? know it, and I know it. The oh, NFL please. flexed Stop its muscle at the court. Stop whining. See what happened to Maurice